If the ketchup bottle is farting, <laughs> close the lid and grab it by the base. Just like isolating a pressure relief valve in a piping system that connects to your reactor vessel. And swing it in a circle. Just like a reactor coolant loop driven by centrifugal pumps, rotation creates predictable inertial forces used to move fluids, accelerating the ketchup. Ketchup inside will want to stay still, but as you swing it, the bottle and ketchup move in different directions. So the ketchup tends to maintain its linear momentum due to Newton's first law. Forcing the bottle on a curved path is going to make it so that each particle of ketchup experiences centripetal acceleration. This is the same inertia that causes coolant to hug the outer walls of curved pipes during transient. And engineers account for it to avoid flow separation or hot spots. If you just shake the bottle, it moves up and down. So some of the force would actually push the ketchup away from the cap. Yeah, vertical shaking produces back and forth pulses inefficient for gathering viscous fluid into the nozzle. Though ketchup is sheer thinning, that is to say it becomes runnier when agitated, so that part can still help. When you swing it, the force pushes the ketchup away from the center of the swing, meaning it all collects in the cap. Yep, with two caveats. One, ketchup's viscosity resists motion, so you need enough rotational speed to overcome that shear. And two, if you rotate too violently, you may create a low pressure region at the cap that can trap air and splatter when released. Just like with a reactor, careful operation is required.